it's adorkable liz 77 and today i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this makeup look so if you want to achieve this makeup look please keep watching so first off you're going to want to apply primer to the upper and lower lash line i already used the milani eye primer you can use whatever eye primer you have on hand I will be using the Sigma All Over Blend, the E37, and I'm going into Urban Decay's Naked Palette into the color Buck. And I'm going to apply this into the crease. This is going to be the transitional color to help blend the other color that we're going to be putting into the crease and warm the crease up even more. I'm just using windshield wiper motions and little circular motions as well. This is the MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go into the Inglot blush number 41 which is a reddish brown color that's matte. This is highly, highly pigmented. You only need the slightest tap. And we're gonna go and work that into the outer portion of the crease using small circular motions and taking that slightly up onto the brow bone into the crease. And we're gonna stop midway about right where your pupil hits in your crease and concentrate the color there. Next, you're going to want a piece of tape. I highly suggest putting it on your wrist and making it less sticky. And we're going to apply this like so. Don't worry about the color that's underneath. You can always go back with a makeup remover wipe or whatever and just get rid of that. And I'm gonna use the same brush and kind of sharpen that edge a little bit and bring that up. This is the e.l.f. flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into my Too Faced palette and I'm going to be using the color Honeymoon which is a golden green color. It's very pretty. It has lots of fallout, so be forewarned. And I'm just patting this onto the lid and into the inner corner and a little bit underneath. Now I'm taking that Sigma E37 all over blending brush and this just has the remaining product that's left from Buck and I'm going to blend the crease together using small circular motions. This is the Sigma Highlight Diffuser E71 and I'm going to go for the matte shade in the buff from the Sweet Indulgence Too Faced palette. And I'm going to apply this directly onto the brow bone to highlight and bring that down and soften those edges. And I'm using small circular motions to blend those colors. Next, I'm going to use this flat shader brush from Urban Decay. And I'm going to go into the color Nice Stems right here, nice stems. And I'm gonna concentrate this color on the outer portion, slightly into the crease. And smudging that out, like so. Just to deepen that up. I'm using the same brush and I'm going into the deeper green, but it's a dark green shimmery color with large specks of silver. And I'm going to concentrate this on the outer V portion 
and making it a cat eye and just flicking that in. I'm going to be using the same brush and the dark green that we used earlier and I'm going to apply it close to the lash line. Now I'm taking my makeup remover and shaking it up and a q-tip and I'm going to clean up that cat eye and under eye area and I'm just going to get rid of the excess fallout and color that deposited underneath the eye area. Now you can use whatever mascara you want. Um, I have lashes that obviously go straight down if you can't tell. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to be applying the Scandal Eyes Retro Glam Waterproof Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. And then I'm going to do a coat of Benefits Their Real Mascara. And I'll go do that and I'll be right back. I applied some of the Benefits Erase Paste and then the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat in Warm Beige um, to cover that up since it does match my skin relatively well for a powder. Everywhere else on my face doesn't have any foundation or anything like that um, just because it's a little bit too hot for that. On my lips, I am wearing the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in the color Willow and on top of that I am wearing Revlon's lipstick in Rosy Nude. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to get this eye look. And have a great day. Bye!